So I am wallpapering my bathroom wall, and there's the wall that I'm going to wallpaper. I've already cut the wallpaper and washed the wall and sanded it. See all these little, um, can I find one? All these little, if I wait it'll focus. There we go. I've sanded all these little spots where there might have been rough spots. Um, I've taken everything out. There's the wallpaper paste, has to stand for 15 minutes. It's dry. I'll show you the box. Um, let's just walk through. My house is a mess, so just so you know, because everything's torn apart. There's my bathroom, dismantled. There's my dog in here, which is a total mess. So I, I really just did this on the spur of the moment. Um, here's the Here's the wallpaper paste. There's the directions. I had 50 grams and I mixed it into, um, I mixed it into a liter and a half of water, guesstimating from what you're supposed to use according to the instructions. So this is what I ended up with, is this, it, it's white and then it turns gray. And I'm using like my dyeing equipment and my gardening buckets. So I'm not using anything from around the house. And it's gonna go up here. And um, I actually will show you my studio because I've been doing some work on it. So this is my tiny little studio. We'll just wait for this to focus. And it's in the, in the process of being reconstructed. So I just tore apart this corner and washed all the walls. There's the bucket. And here's the wallpaper on my table and this is where I'm going to paste it and then it's going to drape down over the end and there's the wallpaper I cut three lengths of 8.1 because my wall is just under eight feet by an inch so you're supposed to cut an inch on each side for a wiggle room I didn't check the pattern so we may be doing this all over again but I don't think this pattern matches up. I don't think it works that way. But we'll, we shall see once we get going. Okay, so that's it for now. Hey, so this is the end result. Before I put everything back in, this is the wall. I should go slower, right? This is the wall, all wallpapered. And that's it. I don't have a fancy house, so I there's stains on the floor, and I cover them up with um, rugs because I'm not going to replace the floor. But um, this looks nice. It came out all right. So what I have to say about wallpapering with unpasted wallpaper is that here's the glue. I have I've used about half of it. I'm thinking I'm going to do the kitchen cupboard cupboards while I have it mixed up. But I'm, I'm pretty tired. That was harder and yet easier. It's like faster in the end than painting. And there's the leftovers from trimming. It's faster in the end than painting, but holy doodle, it's not easy. I was pretty challenged by this. Um, I think if it had been pre-pasted, it would have been a heck of a lot easier. And I would just like to say to anyone who's thinking about wallpapering, buy pre-pasted. Don't, don't buy for the pattern like I did. Although now that it's up, I fucking love it. It's so amazing when there's a whole wall of it in this tiny little space, like um, this is my door. I usually have things everywhere. As I said, I like clutter. Ooh, there I am, videotaping my, my, and there's dye on the walls. I'm gonna repaint the walls. It's time to do the bathroom reno, right? It's, I've been in here five years, and it's time to do a little reno. And I can't do anything about, like I could get a new shower rod, but I can't do anything about the, this. I don't think I could get, permission to put in a new bathtub, but I might try. <laughs> I have a new sink and I'm going to try for that. So there you go. There, there it is. It's, um, 
it's it's just spectacular I'm so in love with it and yes there was a pattern match um, thing that I didn't figure in when I cut because I was in such a gung-ho rush and full of energy um, but it worked out okay and I'll tell you why the first sheet is over here you can you can't really see where the the pattern ends but the first sheet is here and I hung that first working towards the door because I happened to know by measuring the wall space that I was going to cover and the length of the rolls of wallpaper that it matched just about exactly like you can see there's a tiny little but I put it behind the door hoping that no one's gonna really notice I mean I will but I don't know if other people will really care um, it's not like I'm doing this professionally and I have to have it perfect to the millimeter I can live with a little bit out I'm not gonna cut a little piece to fit that tiny crack um, if you have patterned wallpaper <coughs> definitely be very careful to measure your pattern when you cut your piece of your lengths of wallpaper and I'll show you why it worked out for me ha 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 the base heater the second roll covers three quarters of the base heater and you can see a little bit short at the bottom right I'm going to cut a little piece to put in there but um, that's how short it was when I matched up the pattern it was that those that little kind of two inch by three inch space so I looked out and the third piece did not fit at all and I had to cut a new piece from my second roll or no wait a minute I didn't cut it from the second roll I, I used the end piece of the first roll and I was very lucky that it matched almost right on and was almost exactly the right length so you get about um, with room for for pattern you get about four eight foot lengths out of one roll of the paper that I bought and I put the third the fourth one aside so this is three and I put the fourth one aside to do cupboards in the kitchen and I still have an entire another roll <laughs> hey so I did it I did the uh, cupboard doors and I gave I cleaned up yeah there's a stray piece of paper I cleaned up the mess you should have seen my kitchen it was a disaster it was just ruined <laughs> but look at that it's all done it's all done and now all I have to do is paint look at that okay I'll go slower and I'll try to give you a better look there's the doors still need to be painted a lot of them are stained they're they're washed but they have stains on them so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to paint them see they just look dingy so here's the first step in refinishing the doors nice hey I like it my monkeys my monkeys that is my circus and my monkeys there you go